So I have this lizard, a skink, and its favorite meal is salad. That's right, I said it right, salad. And to be specific, mescaline greens. Now I don't know why, but we're gonna get into that in this video. This is Dimple and Dapple, two cutting up skinks, and they give me nothing but grief, whether it's trying to escape or trying to bite me. Now you briefly saw Sav, the third musketeer. These guys are from Australia, the land of the koala, the land of the kangaroo. So I have a problem with these two Cunningham skinks. They're really fussy. They're omnivores, so really they should be eating everything. Insects, protein, greens, vegetation fruit. Now that's Dapple, he's just crawled over closer to his bowl and he does not look impressed. So I took out the grubs and I added banana and let's see what happens. Dimple is being tactical, she's approaching ever so carefully, but I think she knows what's in the bowl. Alright, so so far, banana, check. Now for some reason, the black soldier fly larvae was of no interest, but the banana is. Now just to clarify, these experiments were undertaken every third day, which is generally when they're fed. I thought I'd give them a poll. You know, it's getting hotter, summer's just around the corner. Gives us something to do, keeps them cool, keeps them hydrated. Some additional stimulus. Alright, so Barry's next, and absolutely nothing. Dapple was scratching his head like an absolute idiot, and Sav was crawling around. The next option was mealworms, and these guys were wriggling around. I even threw a cricket in there, and you know what? Crickets is what I got. But you know what I knew would work? Greens, mescaline greens. These guys love their salad. They're omnivores, meaning that they have a 70-30 diet. 70% leafy greens, fruit, things like that, and 30% protein, meat, insects. And these two, these two specifically, only want to eat the greens. They only want to eat the fruit. To be specific, banana and mescaline greens. Now I don't know why they're so fussy. I give them access to everything from a diet perspective. Maybe it's just these two. Maybe it's what makes these two unique. But it's also why I love large skink species. Because they're easy. They're easy to eat. They'll eat things out of the fridge and out of the garden. I don't have to spend my life savings on live insects. So I'm going to leave you with Sav, my eastern blue tongue skink that's from the same range as Dimple and Dapple. And just watch her disappear as she slithers away.